Good day, everyone. I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador at the University of Technology Jamaica and mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. Today, we'll be looking at a key integrated mathematics question in module three of the syllabus. All right, that's calculus. And the topic is continuity. All right, more specifically, we're talking about continuity at a point. Okay, so we here we have our question which says, let f of x be a function defined as f of x, which is equal to three minus two x. That is when x is greater than two, x minus one. And that is when x is less than or equal to two. Part one says, evaluate the limit of f of x as x approaches two from the left. Part two, evaluate the limit of f of x as x approaches two from the right. And part three is f of x continuous at x is equal to two. Give a reason for your answer. Okay, now before I get into the question, let us just go back to the definition of continuity at a point. All right, so here we have a statement which says that continuity, I'm gonna go back over. It says that at continuity at a point, all right, a function is continuous at a point x is equal to k if and only if the following conditions are satisfied. Part one, the limit of f of x as x approaches k exists. In other words, we're saying that the limit of f of x as x approaches k from the left must be equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches k from the right, all right? So that negative that you see above the k, that means from the left, and the positive that you see above the k means from the right. Part two, f of k is defined. Part three, the limit of f of x as x approaches k must be equal to f of k, all right? And I have a last statement here which says that a function f of x is discontinuous at a point if and only if it fails to be continuous at the point x is equal to k. All right, so that is what we have there. So let's get into the solution. Let's do part one here. All right, part one, solution. They ask us to find the limit, so evaluate the limit. So it's the limit of f of x as x approaches two, right? As x approaches two from the left. Okay, that is going to be equal to the limit of what? Now, we're looking at x approaches two from the left, all right? So if you recall the number line, all right? If you recall the real number line, if we say x approaches two from the left, we're talking about all the values that is less than two, all right? We're talking about all the values that is less than two. So if we're approaching two from the left, that's what we're talking about, right? All the values that, that is less than two, okay? And this is the function that we'll be using, all right? X minus one, because that is when X is less than two, okay? Right. So what we have now is X approaches two from the left, all right, from the left, and the function F of X is X minus one. Good. Let us now do our direct substitution. So you're plugging two for X into that function, you get two minus one, which is equal to one, all right? And that is the solution for the first part of the question, all right? Part two now says, to evaluate the limit of F of X as X approaches two from the right. Let's write that down. All right, let's do that here. Part two solution. We are to evaluate the limit of f of x as x approaches two from the right. 
all right from the right good that is now going to be equal to the limit of what so when we're talking about the limit you now as x approaches two from the right all right if you recall the real number line again all right we have two you're approaching you're approaching two from the right okay so if you're approaching two from the right it means that we're talking about all the values that are greater than two, all right? Greater than two. So let me just write it down here in case you're not, you're not understanding what I'm saying mathematically. So let's say that is our real number line, all right? And we have zero here, one here, and two, all right? Now, all the values to the left, all the values to the left of two, all the values to the left of two, that is what? That is what we call X being less than two, all right? So that is for the left hand limit, which is the first part of the question that we had calculated. Now part two, the limit as X approaches two from the right, all right? X approaches two from the right. So let me do it in green for you. So we're approaching two from the right. All right, we're approaching two from the right. Yes, that is our correct arrow. Good. So what we have here now is X doing what? We're approaching two from the right. So we're talking about all the values that are greater than two. All right, that is what we have. Good. So if we're talking about X being greater than two, all right, if we're approaching two from the right, then it means this is the function that I'll be using. Right, because that is when X is greater than two. All right, so I hope that was clear. So we now have the limit of the function as X approaches two from the right. And that is going to be three minus two X, right? That is our function. And that is going to be equal to let us now do our direct substitution. So substitute X as two, you will get three minus two times two. All right, and that is equal to negative one. All right, that's basically three minus four, which is negative one. Good. So we have now successfully answered the second part of the question. Part three says, is F of X continuous at X is equal to two? Give a reason for your answer. Okay, so let us look at that now. Part three of the question. That's part three solution. Is f of x continuous at x is equal to two? Give a reason for your answer. Now remember, for, continu for continuity at a point, there are three conditions that must be satisfied, all right? The first condition says the limit of the function as x approaches k exists, all right? Part two says f of k is defined, and part three says the limit of f of x as x approaches k must be equal to f of k. And of course, if any of these conditions does not hold, it means that the function is discontinuous at the point x is equal to k. All right, so our K value here is basically two. All right, two is the K value here. So let us check for the first part. Let us check if it satisfies the first condition. The limit of F of X exists as the X approaches K. All right, so in other words, when we're, saying that, when we're saying that the limit of F of X exists, it means that the limit of F of X as X approaches that particular K value, which is two in this case, all right, two from the left, must be equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches two from the right. So that is what we need to check here. Now, 
the limit from the left was equal to one. And the limit from the right was equal to negative one. But one is not equal to negative one. All right, so these two values are not equal. And once that is the case, it means that the function is discontinuous at the point x is equal to k, all right, or k values two in this case. So I'm going to write a statement here now. All right, so we can now say since the limit of f of x as x approaches two from the left, all right, that is, that is the one, is not equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches two from the right, that is negative one, all right? So one is not equal to negative one, which implies that f of x is discontinuous, so discontinuous at x equals two. All right, it is discontinuous at the point x is equal to two. And that is our solution for this question. So please ensure to take note of this. All right, in order for the in order for the function to be continuous, it means that the limit of f of x as x approaches a particular k value exists, f of k is defined, and the limit of the function as x approaches k must be equal to the function at that point, all right? So whenever we're finding the limit from the left, we're talking about the, the values that is less than that value, all right? So we have two in this case. So the limit from the left is going to be three minus two x, all right? The limit of, the limit of x minus one, sorry, all right? As x approaches two from the left, because that is when, x is less than two, right? When we're talking about two from the left, if you're approaching two from the left, it means that we're talking about the values x is less than two, all right? And similarly, for the right-hand limit, we're talking about the values that are greater than two, okay? And that is the solution for this question. If this video was helpful for you, please ensure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also share this video with your friends. I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador at the University of Technology Jamaica. All right. And I'm a mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Physics. I thank you for joining.